Mag. Right, yeah. So we've got science incorporating maths, technology, nature, medical, chemistry, biology, astronomy, and physics. And the next round is also geography. Right, yeah, let's go. Are you ready? All ready. Oh, you're doing that, yeah. Right, one. Five clues. This flower was adopted by Bangladesh as a national flower in 1971. It comes from the family... N Andy! Lotus. No, who is the point? Thanks for doing that. <laughs> It comes from the family Ninfasai, that is N Y M P H. Tony! What are they? Yeah. Um, features in a series of paintings by Claude Monet. Next. Question two. Iranian Mariam Mirzakhani. Well done. Yeah. P. <laughs> Who died Say it again so people can hear without me talking. What was it? Just died. She just died. She died last year. First woman to win which prestigious yeah. prize. In 1973, the research team of which American car company offered the Oldsmobile Tornado as the first... Simon. General Motors. Yep. Domestic oh, vehicle Oldsmobile. to include a passenger airbag. Correct. Question four. The visceral surface of which vertebrate organ is divided by a ridge into two regions, an anterior or gastric and a posterior or renal. The hilum is the point of attachment for the gastroplenic ligament. In hot, in humans, it is one inch by five, three inch by five inch, weighs approximately seven ounces, and lies between the ninth and eleven ribs on the left hand side. Lee, Lee, yeah, oh, it was <coughs> worth it. I thought people might I, guess earlier. I've got to lost track of the question. Interesting, the, the, the figure there is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. It's a rule which doctors remember for the spleen. Might be useful in further quizzes. Okay. Question five. Five clues again. I'm looking for a disease. The average survival time after infection is estimated to be around 10 years. Francois Barre Sunicia and Luc Montagnier won the 2008 Nobel Prize in Medicine for its discovery. Some New World monkeys are resistant to it. It is a sexually transmitted disease. Charlie Sheen announced he had it. Dave, Bill. HIV, are yes. mm -hmm. HIV. Correct. Should have come straight away. Yeah. 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 From the first clue, I thought someone might have guessed. Right, question six. Which American astronomer, 1877 to 1957, worked with Edna Hertzsprung to create the Hertzsprung blank? Sam. Russell. Russell. Bloody hell, I was going to answer. Did you alter that question? No, no, no. Like the Hertzsprung blank. Because it's Hertzsprung Russell yes, diagram. Russell diagram. Yeah. A scatter plot of stars and the LS coupling in light atoms with Frederick Saunders. Right, question seven. I'm sorry. Go on. I'm just going to have a drink then. Of oh, Sam Smith. Uh, Dysnomia is the only known moon of which dwarf planet? Tony. Eris. Yeah. Tony, two points. <laughs> Question 8. Element number 107 is named after which Nobel laureate born in 1885? Here we go, Lee. Yeah. Look for it. Curtis. Oh, it's Rutherford. It's not going to work class for you. Simon. Livermore. Nope. Aston. Lorenzo. Nope. McPhee. Oh. Uh, Fermium. Nope. Tony. Einsteinium. Nope. Dave Bill. Seaborg? No. <laughs> uh, Sam? Oh, he always says it just before me. So it's not going to make any difference to you. No, well, I, I couldn't think of something. Uh, Platt Market? Mother Theresa. No. <laughs> <laughs> Fraser? I think he, he deserves a point for that. Men Olivia. No. Andy? Sander Insel. Curium? No, I'm surprised how people get that. Niels Bohr. Bohrian. Bohrian. Bohrian question. Mm. Well, a lot of those people said we're past the hundred, though, so... <laughs> Question nine. I'm assuming it's after Neil's, not Arsh. The tusked animal, Babarusa, native to the... It's oh, wild pig. Yeah, wild pig. Swine, pig or suicidae is a member of which genus of animals? Sounds like John Humphreys there. I'll allow that. Really. Snake? Or sir? <laughs> <laughs> Question ten. In 1859, who proposed the most successful theory to contradict Jean-Baptiste Lamarck's proposal that species change as a result? Lee. Charles Darwin. Yeah. 
So they change the result of the habitual of use of or disuse of a feature. <laughs> E.g. cutting off a rat's tail would not produce a tailless rat. Question 11. After which 18th century mathematician is the formula named that states in a regular polyhedron the number of vertices minus the number of edges plus the number of faces equals 2? Dave Bill. Fermat? Nope. Don't lose a point though. Move it along if they don't. Don't let them go in on a rush. Oh God, they've done it. Simon. Thank you. Nope. Tony. No. no. Legion. Sam. He's no. P. Newton. No. Go on, tell quickly. Euler. Leonard Euler. Is it Euler? Euler, Euler. Euler. Yeah. Yeah. Question 12. Which British charity was founded as the Plumage League by Emily Williamson? Ashton. Oh, it's TV. Yeah. Yep. In 1889. I shouldn't say Ashton like that because it means you're right. Doesn't it? Question 13. What is the most distinguishing feature of a ratite? A Tony. Can't fly. Yeah, everyone's. Yeah, yeah. Lee was behind on uh, kind of tenth of a second, Dave Bill another fiftieth of a second, and very. Lee, anyway, two points. Correct. And Lee goes to the top of the leaderboard with Tony Wongley on six. Carry on. Right, so lose a point if you're wrong. Above which number on a standard keyboard would you find speech marks? Make P. Two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see what we did there, can't you? Mm -hmm. All right, Tio. Question 15. The dihydrogen monoxide hoax is designed to make people believe it is a scientific... Get this. Water. Yeah, scientific name for water. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, you lose a point if you're wrong again. What colour is the blossom of the black thorn tree? Black market. White. Yeah. And it's on the side of it, isn't it? I guess. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. It's just a whole real quiz question. Yeah, you see what I mean? Here we go, here we go. I prefer to make this way. Used as a reducing agent in analytical chemistry and named after an Italian chemist, Devada's alloy is made up of aluminium, copper, and which other elements? Andy. Sodium. Nope. Lee. Nickel. Dave Bill. Sulfur. Sam. Zinc. Yeah. Oh, it's it's no, Dave Bill, yeah. What was it? So, I, was, I was glowering at him changing the question for what I thought him. <laughs> yeah, I paused, I paused, but I, yeah, I, don't I, didn't, need right. I didn't need the, the uh, ultimate in an alphabet. I should have done it. Right, oh, so that was that was Dave answer. Bill. Yeah, no, no, like Lee's pause, was it? Uh, yeah. give, give I, didn't, I didn't put that in equally. Give him the last name. Dave. The penultimate in an alphabetical Was that Sam? Sam, Okay, so Dave goes to one. <laughs> the famous Mike Lee's paws raise his ugly head again. Question 18. Are you ready? Yeah. Which hormone of the glucocorticoid class, discovered in 1955, is secreted by the adrenal glands? Dave Bill. Insulin. No, where's the point? That sounds like a McP. Adrenaline. No, where's the point? Wrong. And is used as an anti inflammatory to treat. Lee. Cortisone. Yep. Hydrocortisone or cortisone. To treat dermatitis, <coughs> COPD and arthritis. Lee goes to the top of the leaderboard, as he does on these last two rounds. Right, so used as a miner's lamp to prevent explosions because of fire damp and invented in 1815. Fat Marky. Computer safety lamp. He jumped in. He jumped in. Uh, sorry, Matt. Um, which British engineer invented the Geordie lamp? Oh, me. Is it me? Yeah. George Stevenson. Yeah. He was, he was the rival to the David Lamp. Yeah. Yeah. I think he was doing both his parents, don't matter. Hence the name. Right, so yeah. Question 20. Aidan Aimbetov, that is A I D Y N A I M B E T O V, who trained at the Star City Yuri Gagarin Training Centre, was the fourth astronaut from which country to go into space in 2015? David! Azerbaijan. Nope, that was the point though. Curtis. Georgia. Nope. Andy. I would say Georgia. Sorry. Simon. Ukraine. Nope. Ashton. Iran. Nope. McP. Um, Afghanistan. Tony. Turkmenistan. Nope. Lee. Kazakhstan. Yes. Go on. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Lee is on the guest list. Okay, uh, and that is a tremendous uh, finish for Lee, uh, who finished off with 10 points. Tony Wong's with 6, Mike's, Mike McPartland's 5. Uh, Mike McPartland, have you noticed you've got a mononym, which is really cool to have a single word now. Uh, Sam Roberts on 4, Simon, Ashton, Kurt. If you're all grabbing a couple there, uh, apart from Andy, uh, that's Rochdale for you. Uh, give uh, Lee a round of applause. <laughs> Going straight into geography, I believe. Question, uh, question eight. Round eight. Geography in incorporating geography and social sciences. Question one. Oxford clay in England, James Ross Island in Antarctica, the Kem Kem beds in Morocco, the Labre tar pits and Como Bluff. Simon. They're all famous for fossils. Yeah. Where you would find dinosaur fossils, etc. You're going jogging to cliffs. Oops. Well, you still got your two there. It's yeah. a minor from but you got your two there. jogging to cliffs as well, right? Uh, no, I was only going to mention the Morrison Formation. Oh, let's go. Question two. Sal, Mayao, that's M-A-I-O, Fogo, Sao Nicolau, Santo Antao. Ashton? Uh, the Azores? No. Ah, Tell everybody to buy out your Ashton. <laughs> Brava. No, everyone just guessed that. Uh, Fraser. Galapagos. No, lose the point. There, when you say, those are not opposite to the Galapagos, honestly. Fraser. Simon. Cape Verde. Cape Verde Island. Island. Oh! Vicente Vovista yeah. from Santiago so yeah. 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 Islands that make up yeah. South Cape Verde. I can't find it. Oh, there he is. Correct. Right, yeah. Question three. In which country is the Carlton Centre, which at 732 feet tall has been its constant highest building since 1973? Curtis. New Zealand. Lose a point. Other notable buildings in this country include the Union Buildings that house the seat of government and the Boar Trekker Monument. Lee! South Africa. Yeah, yeah. South Africa. <laughs> Featuring the city of Homburg, after which the Homburg hat is named, which German state has... Tony. Bavaria. Lose point. Which German state has its capital at Saarbrücken? Simon. Sauland. Sauland. That's two points from Dave from the last question, by the way, which you put in. Have a reset. Thank you. Question six. The River Sower, a tributary of the Trent. Simon. Leicester. Yeah, yeah first through Leicester. Got his dander up. <laughs> Question seven. Which country became independent from Britain in 1964? Has green... Tony. Ghana. Nope. That's 16. That's Has green, red, black and orange on its flag? Oh, God. South Africa. Nope. Uh, oh, no. Sorry, Lee. No, no, and its national football team are nicknamed yeah. the Copper Bullets. Yeah. Yeah. Andy. Kenya. No, you don't lose the point. Though. Dave Bell. Tanzania. Nope. Fat Market. Cameroon. Nope. Nine mil goal. No. Simon. Syria. No. no. Surprised. Tell him. Zambia. 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 Someone just said, why did I change? I knew it was going to be straight away. Dave, why did I change my mind? Gambia. Stop blaming me for going or not. Question eight. Scans. Scans 60. Love another one. Listen, listen carefully to the question. Give either of the two one word United States United States capitals that have exactly 11 letters and don't include the name. Dave Bell. Montpellier. Have you, uh, have you not finished the question? No, I've finished it. It's only 10 letters that. Tony. Albuquerque. No. <laughs> Lee. Tallahassee. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Question nine. Name both countries that the Tatra Mountains border. Santa. Poland, Czech Republic. Nope. Lee. Poland, Slovakia. Yeah. <laughs> Reset. Thanks. Question ten. What would you likely see at the Icelandic Phallological Museum? They fell. Phalluses. Penises. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll see that cropping up in the leg tooth <laughs> quiz next week. Rob Hannah's not sure. Question 11. Five clues. 
by clues. This is a classic provincial city in the west of France. The Notre Dame Le Grand is an important church. The Musée Saint... Fat Market. Cam. This point. The Musée Santa Croix. Curtis, yeah. Ordo. This point. Yeah. Right. The Musée Santa Croix features works by Rodin, Bonard, and Sisley. What is the capital of the Patau area where 1356 battle occurred? Lee. What year? What year is right. All square with Simon at the top of this board. Oh dear. Go on. Uh, I, sh I should have minus one, Steve, if you didn't put me minus one for that. Oh well, gladly. Come on. Thank you. It is the site of its country's largest children's hospital, meaning Crooked Glen, Crumlin is a suburb of which city? It's Andy. Dublin. Dublin is right. Question 14. Roughly translated as carefree in French, the San Suchi Palace. Yeah. McP. Less affair. Oh, I thought. I can't get it in, can we? No. Oh. Simon? St. Petersburg. No. Nope. Tony? Potsdam. No. Nope. I went off the original one. The San Palace, a few miles northeast of the Citadel Lafayette, is the only UNESCO World Heritage Site in which country? Andy? Canada. No. Nope. Curtis? Canada. Lee? Yeah. Luxembourg. Dave Bill. Netherlands. Fat Markey. Russia. Ashton. Uh, Belarus. Blazer. Andorra. Haiti. Haiti. Oh, Haiti. Oh, oh, great, great question. Yeah. Question 15. Name any two of the four countries that are Sire Daira, that's S Y R A D A Y R A, a river originating in the oh. Tian Shan Mountains and flowing into the Aral Sea flows through. Ashton. Uh, Kazakhstan and Turkmenistan. Nope, but don't lose a point. Simon. Kyrgyzstan and Kazakhstan. Yep. <laughs> you could also add Uzbekistan and Tajikistan. Mm. I think that put Simon, did that put you back I in the lead, Simon? Yeah. I'm just guessing on round there. Right, Joe. So question 16. Oh, well, yeah. oh, sorry. Five clues. This motorway is roughly 89 miles long. It has services at Warwick and Cherwell. Simon. M40. Yeah. Good. Very swift. I'm trying to avoid Beaconsfield and Oxford there. Motorway yeah, services at Cherwell. Yeah. <laughs> people would know that. Yeah. Well done. Question 17. Historically a part of Hampshire, but now a part of Dill. Simon. Poole. No. Lose point. Ashton. Perbeck. Lose point. Good geography around Ashton. <laughs> but now a part of Dorset, which town has a car index mark AA? Dave Bill. Andover? Nope, don't lose a point though. Dave Bill, Tony? No, I was going to say Andover. McP? Cool. Lee? Bournemouth? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, well, that's a yeah, useful that's kind of good point. Oh, Bournemouth seems to be a yeah, it's it's problem, problem, hasn't it? Point. It's weird though, isn't it? I don't know why it has that, but it does have that. Question 18. Which body of water owned by the Earl of Shaftesbury is fed by many tributaries? Ashton. Lockney. Yeah, one answer. Correct. Right. Uh, at 18, and with two questions going the entire quiz, you can see that Simon and Lee are duking out the top. Dave Bill's still got a chance with a couple left. Nobody else is in this particular quiz. But if we look at the master sheets, we could probably see that. Tony Wormsley, has he been overhauled? He has got no chance of being overhauled. Tony's in the mid 40s at 45. Everybody else who's close to him is going for the silver medal. Dave Bill on 22. Simon Chilton on 22. Lee Watford on 25. Yeah, very nice indeed. Ashton uh, Davis. A 27. Ashton Davis in second place. So, uh, well, it's still up for grabs on the podium, isn't it? The net as well. And Lee Warburton and Ashton Davis drawing on the net. Ooh. 85 apiece. Ooh, wowzers. Okie dokie. Uh, so, let's go back to the geography board. And we are reset. We've got two questions left. Who's drawing for the net? Ashton Davis and... Wait, Lee. Lee Warburton. Question. And they're gunning it for the placements as well, aren't they? Question 19. At 16,000 feet... Mount Carstens or Punchin. 
Papua New Guinea. Correct. Well done, Simon. Two points. Sixteen points. Mm. The Apache state, the Aztec state. Oh, Lee. Nevada. No, wrong. Lose a point. <sighs> You're dropping down the money stakes here as well. <laughs> uh, Simon. Uh, what's, yeah, New Mexico. Nope, there's a point. New what, say? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't buzz in Ashton. Yeah. <laughs> Go on. Uh, the Valentine State, it gains statehood on February the 14th. The Bailey State, because it's the newest contiguous state in the Union. Mm. Curtis! Uh, Quick! Arizona. Yeah. Not as good as Kentucky, but quite good on the same. Uh, if you sort the medals out in front of you, Simon, you might not be passing them very far at all. There's one for the net winner, and there's one for the gross winner. Uh, as usual, the, uh, the net winner gets £30, second place gets £20, and the third place gets a tenner. So uh, let's just have a look at the scores on the doors. In third place on the net with 84 points. Can you confirm that for me, please? People are looking at that. Yeah, yeah. That is Lee Wobben. £10 for you and a little round of applause. <laughs> We've uh, got two people on 85. Ashton Davies on 85. Chris Cutting. What were you going to say there, Ashton? Would you have got on his own? I didn't realise that Chris was still in the running. But... Yeah. 85, so that's great. So we do have a one question playoff for you. 160, is this, is this still geography? Could it be anything? No, it could be anything, it, whatever comes up first. <laughs> what is the name of the drunken, uncouth character created by Barry Humphreys, who is the author? It's Curtis. Les Patterson. It is correct. You get the first <laughs> Very unlucky. Uh, yes, uh, we have got twenty pounds for Ashton. Uh, Mike, would you like to give that to Ashton? Uh, Chris, uh, we've got thirty pounds for you. And Simon, would you like to pass the, the net medal to Chris as well, please? Chris, a net medal. A net medal. And uh, Lee, if you could give uh, thirty pounds to uh, Chris when you have the time. Uh, it comes to the presentation for the winner who I do believe has won by a fairly long chunk, I don't even need to go yeah. back there. With 45 points, he's put us all to shame. What an absolutely great start, continuing where he left off at the 2017 season. Can you give Tony Wonsley a nice round of applause, please? Thank you. And uh, we'll be next uh, month, uh, by the time you're watching this, uh, we will have played in Halifax, so it's too late. But uh, when you are watching this, if you want to come and join us in, in in March, we are at Thornaby. Thornaby in the North East. So, Keith Marshall and your mates, if you anybody know Keith Marshall, tell him, come on down, I'll promise not to swear. Well done everybody who's participated, it was a very, very tough quiz, threw some very, very funny results if you ask me. And a special round of applause for Mike Lee, who took a lot of time to write out all those questions. <laughs> well done everybody, hey! Thank you. 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 Thank you.